but you want something on the uh, the quote unquote the soft skills of healthcare, and that's where something. Like- So how can healthcare organizations measure the success of efforts around humanizing healthcare, humanizing the healthcare experience, both from an organizational perspective and then also as a from a patient perspective? Um, I've been a big fan of using some sort of relational empathy scale. The one that I've used in the past is the care measure, which is the consultation and relational empathy measure. And it's basically 10, I think 10 or 11 questions. It asks people, um, it asks the patients to rate uh, a few things on a scale of poor to excellent. Um, I think there's five, so like zero to five. Um, and the questions are things like uh, the, the practitioner that I saw made me feel at ease or they let me tell my story. Um, they were, they actually listened to me. They weren't just uh, taking notes while I was talking. Um, They were interested in me as the whole person. They tried to fully understand my concerns. Um, They were generally positive, generally um, friendly, I think was another one. But it's basically 10 questions. And the nice thing about the care measure in particular is that it's been validated. Um, It was developed, I think, in the UK. Um, But they have benchmarks. So national benchmarks for four major categories for Uh, general practitioners or like PCPs, uh, specialty physicians, nurses, and then allied health. So PTOT, speech, that sort of thing. Um, And the nice thing about it is that since it's got the benchmarks, you can go ahead and take a baseline uh, measurement of maybe the first 100 patients that you see this week in your clinic or something like that, and then track that over time to see how you're improving both globally um, as an organization you could drill down to each individual clinician. And then obviously each survey is given to a single and individual patient. So then you can kind of get that individual patient's perspective, whether um, you do it. I've, I've had some organizations that I've worked with that have given a, a measure like this kind of an evaluation and then a discharge or something like that. So you're kind of seeing that progress over time for an individual patient, which is great as well. So something around measuring those non quote unquote, objective measures. I think especially I'm, a, I'm from the physiotherapy world, we're big on our functional outcome measures, you know, quick dash or shoulder, lefts for legs or hips or something like that. Um, and that's great for functional things. And it can help you gauge a specific patient's and an organizational's effectiveness in delivering care for a specific functional outcome, for specific diagnoses. Um, but you want something on the uh, the quote unquote, the soft skills of healthcare. And that's where something like a, a relational empathy scale is very, very useful.